What is good, everybody? I hope you had a really great weekend and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, today is an old school commentary. It's kind of my last chance to actually talk about this before Halo Infinite releases, because believe it or not, we are less than one month until Halo Infinite's release. Six long years, my friends. We have been waiting and it is almost here. That new timeline, that new adventure, it is just right there. So I want to talk about this feeling that I have where for the first time, and I want to say six or seven years, Halo definitely feels like the franchise is not only back on track, but very much set up to go on a, a brighter trajectory. And that is a huge deal, man. Like it feels like so much of the last 10 years has been this kind of identity crisis, Halo looking for what it wants to be, what kind of game, moving the compass needle, seeing where it sticks. And overall, it kind of just wandering in so many ways love this franchise you guys and honestly like i'm so darn excited for infinite but truly this is the first time i think in so long where you can see and feel oh yeah halo is going to be back in the mix if it feels like again it could be totally wrong it could be six months down the road but at least for me as a fan like somebody who's been uploading fps content for 10 years here halo always being at the heart of it like seeing the transformation of reach in Halo 4, into Halo 5, and watching what it kind of did, the different fragments of, of the communities, what elements they liked, what elements they didn't like. I mean, <laughs> you guys probably have known if you've watched Halo YouTube the last two, three years. Halo YouTubers love to compare Halo games to one another. Part of that too, by the way. When you don't have a new game for six years, a, a lot of that comparison stuff is just happening because there's nothing new to talk about. But it does, the arguments get beaten to death over and over again. So seeing that transformation coming into Infinite, and yes, there's this heartbeat that finally, finally feels like the franchise back on track and ready to power itself back into the top FPS space. Sitting amongst like COD and Battlefield, realistically as like one of those options. As a new FPS player, you could be like, you gotta check this out. The reason I can say that with confidence really is MCC. I've been playing a lot of the Master Chief Collection the last couple of years especially the last like three weeks trying to do all of the challenges that i can and enjoying this last month but truly the insider program from 2018 onward and the transformations it's made to mcc those updates the new content seeing some of the new maps the bug fixes that philosophy you can see applied company-wide at 343 not only just in like what we've been shown with mcc but halo infinite's reveal go go back to the campaign reveal and then the big uh, gameplay campaign overview that just came out two weeks ago, almost has like a million views on YouTube. You can see just how incredible the upgrades are to the visuals, listening to player feedback, viewer feedback, critics, etc., and continually working to improve. It's a weird timeline because Halo all of a sudden is entering into the future. Halo 5 came out right at that edge of the free to play games as a service thing for FPS games. You know, Halo 5 did have the monthly updates, so it got its its feet in the pool a little bit with games as a service. But truly, now we've got a free to play Halo game on PC and Xbox well, when it comes to multiplayer that is going to live or die on the updates and is going to absolutely succeed or fail long term at how well they're able to capture players, bring them back, create new and exciting maps or game modes or things for people to just latch into. It's really exciting. And I look at MCC and that process, that iterative design process, that evolution. And I think that is exactly the same design philosophies and processes that will trickle down successfully into a free to play game as a service model, similar to how Apex is doing its updates or Warzone continues to do its updates. Now, I certainly hope Infinite is more successful than like Warzone when it comes to like Andy cheat and a few things there, right? Getting into some nuances, but truly this is something that I wanted to at least say to you guys and get a sense of you and your your spot where you're at how are you feeling it like does halo infinite feel poised for success i know a lot of my old halo youtube friends um are talking about the game and getting really interested in it. a lot of irl buddies who just haven't been playing halo since reach i mean how many friends you guys are let's say most of you are 19 to 29 so plenty of you have played a lot of the halo games from across the span but like i have a lot of halo 3 buddies who dropped off in reach or dropped off in four and they came back for a taste of five here and there, but they've just been kind of done with the franchise. A few of them are talking about Infinite and really excited to play this game. Bring in the, the fact of the matter of it's the first free Halo game, like real true free Halo game. Like this thing could pop off dramatically. 
I don't know. It gets me really darn excited. So I'd be curious, what do you guys think? Are we on that wavelength? Are we feeling like Halo's back on track and ready for that new success point? Man, with four and five, I do feel like they were trying to move that compass and see what new identity stuck for the game. Whereas with Infinite, they are pushing it in a bit of a new direction, but at the same time too, honoring that legacy in a way that I, I believe they may finally like land the impossible plane of, of pleasing the old school fan base while bringing in new players while making sure it stays core to the identity of Halo. And that, my friends, is very exciting. So let me know what you guys think about it. Getting pretty stoked, less than a month, and I hope you guys have a great start to your week. If you enjoyed the video and you wanna learn more about the history of the Master Chief Collection, maybe you're new to the franchise or whatever, check out the video I put together a few weeks ago, and we will see you again very soon.